Hi, you guys. This is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for tuning back in or welcome if you're new here. So I wanted to come on here and do a channeled messages from the angelic realm. These are going to be any messages from the angels that need to come through at this time for anybody who is tuning in. If you feel drawn to this, if you feel that this is um, calling to your attention, if you feel like it's for you, then it could be for you. Um, I trust that spirit will deliver these messages to the right people. Okay, and we're just going to invoke the angels, the angelic realm, and just see what messages need to come through um, for the collective. Okay, these could be messages for healing, they could be messages for guidance, they could be messages for just anything specific, maybe for some people watching that the angels want to deliver. So we're going to do a candle reading here, and we're going to tune in to the messages. Okay, so I'm just going to take a few moments, and I may be silent at times, but I'm just channeling the information. Okay, so let's see what we have. Okay, so let's see. So angels, what are the current messages for the collective? So right off the bat, I'm seeing um, a, uh, a card from one of my, my, um, my, uh, my oracle decks. I can't think of the name of it, um, but it's the dead end. So right now, there's a feeling of some of us moving through a process where there's a dead end. Um, this could be in reference to things that feel that we're not able to move past anymore or it's depleted, it's run its course. There's no more left to kind of push forward when we reach a dead end. Um, let's see, what is this dead end about? Yeah, it's a time for change. There's a, there's a big theme in the collective also as time for change. I am hearing Uranus. So this may be uh, that there's something kind of going on in the astrology as well that is bringing about shifts and changes and also just on a self level within you, you know, whoever uh, is, is tuning in here. It's time for change. It's time to uh, Uranus is all about unconventional things. It's all about shifting and, and kind of seeing things from different perspectives, being a bit different and unique. Um, and I do feel that with the dead end, it's like we're, we're asked to kind of mold the energy into something different. So the angels are kind of encouraging that whatever, I'm also getting Taurus energy here, um, whatever we are have been doing, whatever we've been exerting our energy into, if you feel like you've hit a roadblock, if you feel like you've hit a dead end in some area of your life, it is time to bring through a shakeup. I'm also hearing some of you, this will be that there is going to be a shakeup. There's going to be an event happening in your life or a tower moment to where things will start to just kind of um, even be torn apart or there's going to be a, a, a big tower moment in some, some capacity, some way is going to be different for, for a lot of us. But um, there's something that's kind of shifting and changing. And this will bring about this Uranus, this revolution almost is what I'm getting. This could actually be on a bigger scale. It could be in the world events. There may be something that happens. Um, but I feel like the angels are just saying here that uh, if we keep doing the same thing or if we keep going down the same path, we're never going to grow. We're never going to expand. We're never going to, or we will, but it's going to be very slow. Or it's not going to be the same kind of um, thing. I'm also seeing a beautiful pair of dolphins here. Uh, dolphins, this could be also, I'm picking out for some of you who identify with being a starseed, um, or even if not, there's just a feeling of bringing more harmony and more love and replacing that energy, replacing that beautiful energy of love. I'm getting an emerald crystal. Um, Archangel Raphael is coming up here. 
as well to invoke uh, an energy of healing of healing emerald light in the crown uh i don't know why i said crown chakra crown chakra i'm hearing root chakra and heart chakra um to bring through a level of um purity and to kind of cleanse and to purify the energy and the dolphins are always representative of harmony and happiness and uh, for me just joy and um, i feel some of you what i'm hearing is if you have been lacking in joy in your life or if you've been feeling like you're not feeling joyful or you don't feel you know that things are working for you i'm getting that there's a new target i'm seeing a target here they're showing us a target um and this could be different some of you the dead end is things you need to gently but also um let go of that you need to find more joy in certain different things and in order to do that we have to go through a shake-up we have to go through um, this this big kind of uh, Uranus revolution type of energy is how they're showing it currently um, and I feel this will either take you to a new target they're showing or you are already feeling that you have a target you're already feeling that there's a new target that you're focusing on I'm getting some of you right now, the angels are, rep are referencing that um, if you, and this could go so many different ways depending on how it's gonna resonate with you, but they're showing me that you're moving towards growing a beautiful castle, um, growing a beautiful castle of stability. And and again, the dolphins are kind of in the background. It's, it's very much about inviting joy, inviting uh, fulfillment, like a 10 of cups type of energy. But what they're saying is that we, same kind of message though, we have to leave something behind or we have to allow for one path to end. We have to accept an ending, we have to leave that behind, and we have to be willing to have a new target. We have to be willing to shoot for a new target. And for some, there's going to be something that actually comes into your life, like in, in regards to an opportunity or even a love partnership that will serve to push you into the direction of the new target, okay? Um, the, they're also bringing up the solar plexus, a lot of um, tiger, cat energy, lion, I'm getting a feeling of being able to activate and empower the solar plexus. Right now, this is a time to do this. And again, it goes together with the same message I'm hearing about the target, because if we feel, you know, cause, cause I'm getting a message here that with the dead end, this can kind of go very deep because if we don't feel confident in ourselves or if we have been through trauma or if we've been through situations that just kind of defeat us over and over, it can make us feel uh, very unaligned and it can really affect the solar plexus chakra. Um, so what I'm getting is that there's a need to sort of infuse the solar plexus with warm light again, with golden light again, so that the target can be more attainable. Um, so if, if some of you feel that you're not feeling confident or if you feel any symptoms, I'm hearing also digestive symptoms that are unpleasant, um, this could be a sign that your solar plexus chakra is either burnt out or it's not having enough energy or there's some trauma stuck there or there's something here that's not um, moving properly. So they want you to heal the solar plexus and to um, find ways to kind of empower that so that you can take those steps forward to creating a better life is what I'm hearing, to create a better life, to create a stronger foundation. I'm also getting that the solar plexus can be, I'm getting a mask here. Some of you, there may be a mask that's being worn. I don't know if this is you wearing a mask or this is someone, people around you, but there's a need to take off the, um, the identity that is not that is a false identity identity it's been programmed by society and by childhood and it's really just a false persona and so it's like that programming that mask needs to be washed down washed away and instead we're inviting in the energy of the dolphins and kind of the more pure light and love and this could be just for you and i mean just for you and me and just on a small scale or this could be on kind of a global level is also what i'm hearing there's a need to take off the false masks right now and to kind of infuse it with more of like what is in alignment with us and to reach that target um i'm getting a lot of like 
joyful energy again. Some of you, there's a message about um, allowing yourself to have fun, allowing yourself to go out more maybe, or to meet up with friends or family or celebrate things. Someone here could be getting a new job or your job, your, your career is moving in toward to a higher direction. I'm also getting a silver energy here. Um, let's see, what is the next message? That was one message. What is the next message here? Angels, please. They're showing me a Reiki video of cutting cords of attachment. Um, some of you may have a cord of attachment here uh, to certain people or I'm getting that, where is this cord attached to? It's kind of going with the same message in a way. They're showing me an arrow that is pointing backwards rather than forwards. And it's like that target again. The target is um, what so what do they need to know about this then angels what do they need to know about this cord now they're bringing it to the root chakra Okay, so this is a message that kind of goes deep into some healing work. Um, I'm getting that some of you, there's a message connected to the root chakra here that has to do with maybe f feeling um, isolated or abandonment wounds, abandonment kind of um, uh, traumas and wounds right now. And again, that's kind of this connected to the message about healing the root chakra and the crown and the heart chakra. There's something about feeling either lonesome or lonely or unsafe, um, which can, can make us feel that we're not supported or we're not loved or we're not um, stable. And I'm getting that this is where there's been a, a trauma that has developed in the root chakra for someone, which right now is having to be healed or to be addressed to kind of bring more groundedness into your energy right now. Um, I'm getting this could be Scorpio or someone who's a Scorpio. I'm getting a scorpion coming through here. What can they do, angels? What is the advice on what they can do in regards to this? I'm seeing the star, the two. Okay, so there's a, there's a, a ladder right now that's heading up to the stars. There's a ladder, a beautiful ladder and kind of like an ascension here. I'm also being shown selenite crystal, like a huge selenite tower and almost like a whole like room filled with selenite crystal. Um, and I think what's happening is that there's a need to sort of take that step and to walk those steps up the ladder to enter into the stars. And I feel like this could be where someone here or for whoever this message could be for, if you resonate with, I think it's all kind of tied together. Um, there's a feeling of this root chakra work needing to be done in order to ascend higher because what they're telling me is that, which like if we don't heal our root chakra, we will either be, if we try to open our higher chakras when we don't heal our root chakra first, it will cause a lot of unbalanced energy or ungrounded energy. So it's important to address the root cause. Um, there's a need to address the root cause in some area of your life, which could be in your just your spiritual growth process. This could be if you have difficulties right now with your career or money. This could be difficulties in relationships, but it has something to do here with healing and addressing abandonment wounds and also any type of loneliness or distortion around the root chakra. Um, and spirit showing that their angels are showing that there's a staircase, a ladder that you're being invited to go up towards to enter the selenite like healing room um, so that you can be cleansed of this 
and so that you can set yourself free i'm hearing there's a sense of freedom there's almost this feeling of circling in like a like a fishbowl um and having to find freedom okay because once we kind of reach i'm hearing nirvana once we reach nirvana i suppose or once we once we kind of like rise it up higher then we are feeling free and liberated so if any of you have been feeling this um, let me see angels why are you bringing this up is this for anyone specific or is this for the collective Yeah, it's just, I, I feel like this is just overall a collective message. Now they're showing the same reference about simplifying your life right now. So this could be a practical message about like, simplify your life, um, find ways to declutter or to just take the, the short, the small things in life and sort of make them meaningful. Um, this could be spending time in the morning, just kind of meditating or enjoying your cup of coffee or tea or just like doing simple things and also finding ways to sort of simplify a situation if that makes sense like if you think like things are too complicated it's like eliminate and erase the things that are causing distractions because all that's doing is perpetuating a cycle that keeps repeating itself so they want the angels are encouraging to again take that ladder and set yourself free I'm seeing the otters as well. So we have otters, we have dolphins coming through to rise to more happiness here. That's really the main message coming up today is to um, allow for more happiness, allow for a, a rabbit also coming through here. Yeah, just a feeling of wonder almost. It's like I'm almost getting Alice in Wonderland coming through. So I don't think it's in a bad way though. I think it's in a way of opening up to possibilities. For some of you out there, you could be mm, there is something so what is that what is that about yeah i don't know if this could be for someone maybe specific but if 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 you've been Again, the same message coming up here about having to stop and go back down to the root chakra or simplify or to go back down and kind of simplify because I'm almost getting that there's a lot going on in the upper chakras, which is leading to confusion. Okay, so is there any other message here today, angels? Any other message, a different topic? Is there anything else? Okay, I'm seeing, what is that? Is that a goddess or a god? I don't know who that is. If it comes to me, I don't, I think it might be Mars. I'm hearing there's hard work ahead. Um, yeah, I'm getting a knight here too, like a knight in the old days, um, a knight going to battle. Uh, there's a feeling of putting on your armor and entering into the fire, but I don't think it's really a bad thing. I think it's um, a feeling of buckling up here and entering into the into the fire to create, to um, persevere, to kind of. I'm hearing let the walls down or to kind of like break the barriers, break the walls. So there may be something that some of you are charging full force ahead at right now. And I feel that this is an opportunity to change, an opportunity to grow, I'm hearing. So it, again, it could be connected to the same message, but I'm hearing that this is very much a time to take charge, take action take fiery kind of action here um, or if you are doing this this is confirmation that there's a lot of progress that you're making in this there's a lot of 
progress ahead. Capricorn, I'm getting here. Um, mm hmm. Yeah, I'm getting that there's a feeling of unleashing, you know, unleashing. I'm seeing the She-Wolf card from the Angels and Ancestors deck, and I'm getting unleashing the wild within, the She-Wolf. So it's like the, the energy is starting to sort of move in a very quick manner, in a way where we're able to take that fiery action and to break free from those limitations. So that could be sort of a progression here between... Um, rising up and ascending and sort of being able to let the walls out. I'm seeing a cobra as well now. So I do feel like there's, I think this is like a sequential thing here, um, or the angels are kind of referencing a few different groups of people, but I'm being told that there's going to be a huge, like almost, um, I guess like a huge um, fire that comes out of the top of your head uh, maybe even a kundalini energy rising where it's going to empower and to kind of um, sh let the energy be almost like an explosive energy is happening here. So this could be happening in some of your energy uh, fields here, in your energy. You're, it's like there's an explosion of energy um, and I'm getting a thumbs up here. So this is saying that this is the right thing to do or if you're on this track currently or if you feel like you're gaining this energy, then you're heading on the right direction. You're heading down the right track. Uh, I'm seeing a hummingbird. If you are seeing hummingbirds or if you get visited by a hummingbird, this is a sign that you are raising your vibration, I'm hearing, and that it's time to sort of fly. It's time to again, like take that fire and kind of just charge full speed ahead. It's like I'm seeing the night just charging very quickly um, with a lot of fire and a lot of like courage and a lot of um, confidence and a lot of assertiveness and a lot of um, masculine energy. So what about this? Okay, stand your ground. The angels are saying, stand your ground. So I think that um, for some of you, there's a message coming through about having to keep your light about you at the moment. Um, I'm getting this may be also a message of spiritual protection. If you work with spirit or if you're very sensitive to spirit, this current time may be wise to protect yourself because it's almost like there's many different energies coming through like many different angles and many different energies that are almost like coming through with with a lot of fire and i'm getting a white light that needs to be kept from within you need to keep your purity in yourself because i think that there could be almost like a bit of attacking energy where you're having to keep your composure at this time, okay? So that's another message coming through, is to protect your energy, especially with white light, and to um, Yeah, but I keep hearing stay the course. So this could be two different separate messages here with the mention of the night and the fire. It's like I'm getting the overall thing here is that we are in a process or moving towards a process where you will feel that fire and a need to express that fire and a need to ex sort of explode with that fire and to, 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 to stay on course, to dedicate yourself to your target, to your goals. But there could be some tests along the way to where you either get tested by something outside of you that sort of tries to take your fire or you encounter some of your old blockages or things that sort of test your fire 
And this is where the need to have balance between the light and the dark right now is coming through. Not the dark necessarily, but the light and the shadow, because I feel like there could be some shadows almost that come through that, because naturally when we, when we, it's like if we kind of um, stir something at the bottom and, and we ignite it, it's like it will come through with things that have settled at the bottom. So I feel what's happening is that Spirit's saying that regardless of what happens right now, just know that don't back down or don't stop, don't let anything stop you from your path. Don't let anything stop you from your forward progress at the moment. Um, but at the same time, keep that fire about you too. You know, I hope that makes sense. It's kind of, I'm getting these um, separate kind of distinct sections here. But that's what I'm getting. So keep your composure, basically. Um, protect your energy and keep charging at what you want right now. Keep that fire about you. Keep moving forward confidently, bravely, courageously. Um, and if you encounter some tests along the way or if you encounter some roadblocks along the way, um, don't let it kind of affect you almost. Like, don't let those energies try to take your light from you. Um, being shown meditation um, can be really helpful. Stay, you know, meditate daily, um, grounding yourself if you feel called to, to meditate, to kind of bring that energy back from within. Okay. So that's the message about that. Let's get one final message. Is there anything else, angels, that need to come through? A different topic here for the collective right now. Anything else? Okay, so Spirit's saying, the angels are saying to allow things to also flow. Um, there's a situation here in your life currently that you are needing to... Okay, so I'm seeing, first of all, a woman or someone underneath the ocean, and they're trying to come up for air, and the sunlight is penetrating the water and trying to shine water down in the ocean so that the light can be, so you can follow the light up to get air. And I'm hearing, make decisions wisely. So I think this is a message here to currently um, make decisions wisely when it comes to following your light, following the flow of energy. There's going to be a new project or a new growth. There's a little plant that's blossoming here. and. It, it's sort of like your decisions that you're making will affect the outcome of this plant. And they want you to encourage you to know that this is a very soft kind of energy for this message. It's a very soft kind of watery ocean, like I'm getting a lot of turquoise, a lot of ocean water. Um, and it's sort of like nurturing the self is what I'm getting. And I think this came through for the full moon reading I did yesterday. There's a need right now to take things slowly. I'm getting a turtle. So it's kind of a contradiction with the second message, but this is in a different way. That was more about the drive and the energy behind something. This is about your emotional kind of body and your spiritual energy. Um, some of you need to come up for air. And the way that you're coming up for air is to follow the light, the light that's shining from the sun, and you're seeing a stream of light down from the bottom of the ocean, and you're following that light all the way up so that you can come up for air. Um, and I'm hearing there's a need for breathing room, a need for independence right now. 
So this may be in regards to a certain specific situation for some of you, but the angels are referencing a need for breathing room and a need for taking your own kind of path right now, taking maybe a vacation or taking you some time to make decisions that are going to fill up your cup within yourself. Um, Now I'm getting the sacral chakra here, the sacral chakra. So what about this message here? Okay, so this is about rediscovering a passion of yours. This is about finding enough time to give yourself, because because it's like we can have our, our passions can lie dormant at the bottom of the ocean. We can have certain talents, certain skills, certain um, even hobbies or things that we feel passionate about, but they can, they're only going to be a, they're only going to be an idea until we follow it up to the light, until we come up to, for air to kind of breathe that oxygen in to, to make those passions come to life. So the angels are referencing, there's an activation or need to kind of stir the sacral chakra um, and just through ways of anything that's intuitive, anything that's more like feminine and yin in nature. This could be painting, writing, singing, dancing. Um, but there's a feeling of having to take a little bit of time to yourself to spend enough time on those little hobbies or spend enough time nurturing that creative side because what this will do is it will help to give you a sense of joy and give you a sense of just having kind of passion for life again. Um, and if you feel that you are being crowded and if you feel like you're being like almost um, not having enough time for yourself or you feel like you're absorbing a lot of energies, you don't have to stay in a dark corridor at the bottom of the ocean. You can swim up to the top. You can find the way to get air again you can find the way to get refreshment again, but you have to make the decision to follow the light up. So this is more about activating a place within us that has been laying dormant. Yeah, and this is also about letting go of something we've been really gripping onto because again if we choose to be at the bottom of the the sea it's just like the the analogy that i'm being shown here um we're actually keeping ourselves a victim because we are suffocating ourselves of air so what they're showing is that we we need to come up for air which in this case is planting a new seed that little seed that's going to grow into a plant um, but we have to be willing to let go of this balloon is what I'm showing letting go of the balloons which in, in in this case is when you take that first breath of air you are admitting to yourself or you're accepting that you're willing to let go and you're willing to take a new breath of fresh air you're willing to take a breath of fresh air to develop and to nurture something new so this will be activated around the sacral chakra. This will something is connected to the sacral chakra here. I'm getting a grandmother coming through. So this could be something that your grandmother maybe has done or your grandmother is just coming through someone's grandmother here. But I feel that again, if we deprive ourselves of oxygen, we're holding on so tightly to that balloon that wants to go free. This is mainly about relationships with the sacral chakra. I'm being told this is about maybe one relationship or many different relationships that you are comparing yourself, com comparing yourself or comparing these people or your the energy that just within your sacral, with, within your energy is like stuck on old relationships or old people that need a breath of fresh air that you need to let that go so that you can 
nurture that plant that wants your attention. That plant wants to be nurtured. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody knocking on a door and the door never opens. It's like knocking on a door endlessly and the door never opens. Uh, this could be literal. Maybe some of you have tried to visit somebody or tried to uh, contact somebody, but it's like the door is not opening. And it's like if the door is not opening, if you're just knocking and the door won't open, then again, you're kind of, you need to swim up from that and take a breath of fresh air and sort of leave it behind. So is there anything else about this, angels? Yes, this is about forgiveness. Uh, this is definitely about a, a deep level of forgiveness and seeing the love and compassion in the situation, being able to bring compassion, being able to bring love into the situation. And I actually want to share, I, well, actually I'll share that later because I'll lose my train of thought, but, um, yeah, so bringing love and bringing compassion into the situation is what is being recommended. And I think that's in reference, again, mainly to your relationships. And what I'm being shown that this does, it's like, let's say our sacral chakra is our center of creation as well. And let's say there's a little glowing orange ball but then there's dark cloud over the orange glowing ball. And that dark cloud represents the cords or the challenges in our relationships, whether that's romantic or friendships or family. Um, I think it's mainly romantic, but it could be friendships too. That dark cloud is smothering the little glowing orange sacral light that wants to be more creative, that wants to express itself more playfully and more creatively. So in order to release that dark cloud, that is in this analogy coming up from the bottom of the ocean, which the ocean represents our sacral chakra, so it makes sense, our emotions, and coming up from that and being able to take that breath of fresh air and release that balloon at the top of the water and seeing the balloon fly away and breathing in the fresh sacral energy so that it can start to develop again, so it can start to swirl again, so it can start to bring passion into your life again. So you're being clouded by something that's not even, you know, it's not even, um, it, it shouldn't be held on to. This is also connected to your throat chakra, I'm being told, where there's certain things you haven't been able to say, and this has been blocking your throat chakra. This has been, um, well, not blocking your throat chakra, it's actually, it's actually mainly the sacral chakra where it originates, but the throat chakra is also affected because the throat and the sacral is our center of expression, self-expression. Um, so they're referencing that the throat chakra actually has things to reveal as well, or you need to sort of um, find ways to to get that moving as well so that the cloud can kind of be let go of. This could be writing a letter to yourself, writing a letter to someone around you, or whoever this is, maybe that have, has hurt you, or wh whoever it is that is that you're attached to. I'm hearing the song, We Could Have Had It All by Adele. Okay, so is there any final message about that, angels? I'm hearing players will be players. So this could be for some of you who, and I'm being told to, to, to because when we exchange sexual energy, it's very powerful and it, and it can, we should be very careful of who we exchange sexual energy with. So if that is the case for someone out there, um, that may be also affecting your sacral chakra. Whether you're absorbing this from somebody else or you're kind of just empathically picking it up, especially if you have been intimate with somebody who maybe, I don't know, is a player or somebody who has been with, with many other people, or there's just a feeling of the energy being that clouded. Um,
Mm. And I'm seeing a need to go back to a home, go back to a home that's more simple and easy. So this could be speaking about like a, a more nurturing home life and making home in yourself, making home, finding home within yourself. Okay. So I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope these messages could help some of you. I hope they could resonate. Um, and let me know if they do. And I hope that you have a wonderful weekend and lots of love. I'll see you next time.